Alrighty, hello. I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial of how to make a wire figure. And so you're just going to be taking wire like this, right, and making a basic human figure today. And then we're going to have them crawl up the wall somewhere in the school just to make it fun. Okay, so I'm going to take you down here to my workspace so you can see this. So the first thing is that I took a piece of wire and I have my wire spool here, right? And I went ahead and I cut several lengths of wire that are about 18 inches long. So if you were looking at the ruler that we have, um, then that can be helpful or, you know, roughly like about the length of your forearm is good too. So to do that, I got my first one cut and then I wanted them to be about the same. And so then I just took this spool of wire and this is a, we have both 20 and 18 gauge of wire. And basically the higher the number, the thinner the wire, right? So I just took this, I lined this up here, right? And then I'm gonna come here and we're just gonna use, I'm gonna get this even over here. And then I'm gonna get my needle nose pliers. Let's see if I can get this a little closer to you. And you'll just go all the way to the end here Right, and that part there is a little wire cutter. All right, then I'm gonna start making my actual person. And so I'm gonna try to get for you guys this little like tutorial of the basic layout of what the human features um, are in relationship and proportion to each other. So if we're looking here, then you can see that we have the head, right? And about halfway through the body, is kind of the bot that midsection, kind of right at the bottom of the bum there. And then the legs are actually about half the body, sometimes a little bit more. Um, really, seven is like an average person, seven, seven and a half. Or if you wanted your figure to look godly, then you could make it more like eight heads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you could go eight. I, with a wire figure, like to have my legs be a little bit longer, so I usually extend them a little bit down here. So I'm going to take this and kind of use this as a guide, but maybe go a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to start by getting my basic head shape here. So you can see that there, right? And then I'm going to come down. And there's so many different ways that you could do this. Like I could come down and think, OK, I'm going to try this, right? And I'm just going to create the shoulders of my piece. You just want to make sure that you have very similar measurements on both sides. So I have this here, right? And then I'm gonna twist the head, right? And then come down into my shoulders, making sure that my, um, my shoulders are the same distance on this side as they are on this side. I'm gonna come down into the waist, right? So if I were looking at my little drawing here, it's gotten a little elongated already, and that's totally fine. And then I can see that I have my legs coming down here, right? Now you could have it be so that they're really long. I think it looks okay and kind of fun if the legs of your piece are really long, but I think it can look really weird if this part is long and your legs are short. So I could decide that my legs are going to be really long, or if I, if I wanted to, I could take this wire and think about you know how this is going to come if I were to double this up on itself, right? So if this is the top of the head, then this might be where the ankle is. And if that's the case, leave a little extra space for that foot. And then I could come up here and just twist this, right? I could also come in with this if I wanted to, and I could start making the shape of a calf, right? And then I just want to make sure the second one should be a little easier. And I always, this is why at the beginning I like to cut my wire nice and long. It just makes it a little easier. You always want to have the piece of wire go throughout the whole part of, throughout the entire piece. It just makes it, um, it's much, much easier than trying to do like an individual arm or an individual leg. And there here I have kind of my basic figure. There. For the next piece, what I'm going to do is I have found kind of my midway point. Find that here, right? And I'm going to round out my head. Now you could keep it flat, but I'm going to round it out here. So I'm going to kind of come over here underneath, right? And I'm just going to twist that on. Right? Now this part here can get a little tricky because it's wire, 
He doesn't want to twist on. I'm going to kind of use my body. I might come in here with my needle tool and hold one here. And I like to have two needle tools sometimes for this reason. And then I can just kind of use this to tie on the wire. And this is kind of the tricky part here. So just play around with this. I can keep it in one place here. Good. Then I can come down here, start thinking about the shape of the head. I'm just doing, and we're just doing real gestural quality today. So we're not trying to make it perfect. So gestural meaning like Think about big gestures, right? And so your piece is going to be really gestural and kind of moving. All right, and we'll come here. Okay. We'll come on here and we'll just do the front of the head, which is hard to see. Can you see that there? Then I'm going to wrap it around the neck here a few times. Wrap that other side. I'm going to do perfect here. Try to see if I can maybe spend a little more time. I could take this wire if I wanted to, and I could come up if I, because I'm not loving the way the head's looking, and I could kind of, you know, come into the head here. Tuck in. All right. Maybe come back up with this wire as well, so I can get a little bit more. So I went, I'm trying not to squish it, right? And I just lost, you know, you never want to have those wires like poking out at you. So I'm going to come in here. And when you can't use your fingers, like that's going to be on the inside of the head, so you can see that a little bit. Well, you don't have to do that, right? And I'm going to come in here and notice I had like six or seven wires to start because then it just makes it easier as I come in here. So I could come in here and I could hook on the top if I wanted to. And if I wanted to, I could come into that nice, my loop here. Let's see if I can get it through there. Oops. Let me get it that way. Well, that's way too much effort. So I'm just going to come in here. Twist it on and just start thinking about kind of finishing up that head. You know, watch out for yourself and for your neighbor. And then I'm going to come down. I'm actually going to use this wire, I think it'll be a good length, to come down. I'm going to twist it around the body. So as many times as I can anchor or twist, I'll do. And I'm just going to start kind of thinking about where my arm will be. And that's about the right measurement for my arm. Because if you're standing, your arms usually come down about mid-thigh, right? So this wire here, I can always, again, take a little piece and kind of use it as my hand, right? Yay! Right? Then I'm going to come down and I'll do the same thing. The other, kind of use that head camouflaged in that wire. Make sure that I have enough wire. Come out into my anchor it around the shoulder, and then come in here. Do it, and then just want to make sure again. We want symmetry which means the same on each side. And here I'm finding I don't have quite as much wire for my hand, so I might need to deal with that. Kind of coming down. So here I have kind of my basic wire there, okay, with the legs down here. Then I'm thinking I want to kind of build it up a little bit, maybe back out, coming out into the chest. So I'm going to take a piece of wire and go through here to that halfway point again. Maybe come and think about 
anchoring through the chest, move those arms out of the way. You know, just like the head, you know, we're just doing kind of the skeleton of this piece, but later in the semester, if you want to come back to wire, right, then you might decide that you want to start wrapping like we did the head, in which case you might want to do something like we're doing right now, right, which is kind of making the form of this wire figure a little bit more three-dimensional. So basically, you'll do this, right? So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna work on this for a minute. I think I'm gonna come down into the legs. Um. Here. And so we have this figure here. Hmm? Sorry, I'm just making a video tutorial. Sorry. It's okay, dear. <laughs> come here, right? And this would be like the basic that you want, but you could certainly come in, right? And you could flesh out these arms here, or you could wrap around the body, right? But we're just going to do something for about half the class today. So, let's see. You can see my little guy. There you go.